Hey everyone, in this lecture, we're gonna be showing that if zero is less than x is less than y, then x squared is less than y squared. Now to be specific, we're gonna be proving part six of proposition 1.1.8. This problem specifically is exercise 1.1.3, which can be found in your free real analysis online textbook. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. All right, so this problem says let x and y be in f, where f is an ordered field such that 0 is less than x is less than y. Show that x squared is less than y squared. Now, this is going to be a direct proof, and so let's first start by listing off our hypotheses. So we're going to let x and y be in f, where f is an ordered field such that 0 is less than x is less than y. Now, let's unpack what's being said here, because a lot is being said here. First... This means that both x and y are both greater than zero. x is greater than zero right here, and y is greater than zero because of the transitive property. Now recall that in, in ordered fields, if you have a number that's greater than zero, then you can multiply that number on both sides of any inequality. Now I wanna point out that there's technically one more inequality in here, and that is, that y is greater than x. So here we have an inequality that I can multiply both sides by any number that's greater than zero. And when I say number here, I mean element in my ordered field. Okay, so let's take this inequality and multiply both sides by x, since x is greater than zero. Now, I do wanna clarify that when you multiply on both sides of an inequality, it's important that you multiply on one side. In this case, I multiplied on the left side. Now, because we're working with an ordered field, multiplication has the commutative property, so xy equals y times x. But don't get into the habit of assuming that at this point. Now that we're getting into more advanced mathematics, you want to get into the habit of assuming that you don't always get the luxuries that you got to assume throughout high school and calculus and differential equations and so forth. So that was the result when I multiplied both sides of this inequality on the left by x. So now let's multiply both sides by y on the left again. Now, why am I saying multiply on the left still when I already know that it's an ordered field that I'm working over? Well, that's just because I want to clarify at this point that x squared is less than xy, which equals yx, which is less than y squared. And so the reason why I kept everything organized according to how I multiplied both sides of the inequality on the left side the reason I did that is because I really want to emphasize that in an ordered field, the reason we get to make this equality here is because of the commutative property of multiplication. You can reorder your multiplication. And so because this is a very elementary proof in this course, in this textbook, it's really important to emphasize that we get to assume that this equal symbol is correct because of the commutative property of multiplication, which in some future courses like in abstract algebra, you're not always gonna get that luxury. So this means that x squared is less than y squared. And that's the end of our proof. We show that x squared is less than y squared. That's what we were wanting to show. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.